Hey everyone, it's me, Wendy. I typically teach how to sew here on YouTube under With Wendy, but today I'm here with CBC Life to give you a no sew home decor special. I've been doing a whole series with CBC Life focusing on home decor, and in today's video, it's gonna be about the drapes. There's a set of curtains in my living room that I've been meaning to replace. They're a bit heavy, they have this like velvety texture, this like dark teal. Whether it's the sheerness, the opacity, the color, the print, anything that you want to change on your curtains, if you can find the material that you want to swap it in for, then this is an easy way to just attach it up on the wall. I am planted here in this chair, I'm not moving, everything I need is around me, let us make these curtains. I have here the fabric that I bought, if you don't have fabric you can also use like even a spare bed sheet extra fabric you have lying around it could do uh, mine is really sheer it's this like dusty teal color I'm gonna swap this fabric in and the key to a no sew is you need curtain clips I picked up these curtain clips from the same fabric store these ones are a light wood texture it's pretty good and then of course you need these nice and grippy clips I got two sets of these the first thing I'm gonna do is take this fabric that I bought and cut it into two equal lengths because I purchased enough for both sides of the curtains. Here's the midway point. Let's give that just one snip. And the nice thing about most fabrics that are suitable for curtains is they're woven, so you can do this. So satisfying. That gives you a straight rip every time. It even kind of like gathers in the edge for you so you don't have to worry about it. The only thing to look for is a couple of loose threads since you don't want those dragging all over the ground. This one was not too bad. So now I have two equal sized pieces. I'm gonna put this one aside and we're gonna work with this one that I have on the ground in front of me first. This part may take a little trial and error, but essentially we're gonna fold over this edge like so and then add a clip all along up here for the curtain. And if it's too long, then just fold a little bit more. And if it's too short, Fold a little bit less. And we're gonna clip it right on the outside. Ta-da, like so. Nice and grippy. Now if you use a fabric that's heavier than the grippiness of your claw, that'll be the only time you where you might have to upgrade to something a bit more heavy duty. Now I've got the two far sides folded and clipped. I'm just gonna keep going all the way until the middle. Ta-da! That is one curtain all finished and ready to go. I can put it onto the curtain rod, assess its length, I can adjust it from there, but that is how quick and easy it is to make yourself a new set of curtains. your way you notice me and I knew that once we share this company we're in a forget there you have it I'm so happy with how these curtains turned out they're way more breezy and happy and that's the way I like to keep things for the summer if you liked this quick little idea don't forget to subscribe to CBC life so you can see more of my home decor DIYs you can find me on YouTube it is with Wendy and I'll see you all next time if you're subscribed bye bye